Ladies, we have a friend on our duck. We get a plate back. There's a little snail on one of the flowers. Let's get a new duck out. 911, please. And that was from the contestants. Oh, this my send God. Us home. This is not good. Ten lambs and ten ducks. I'd like these up in four minutes. We're just getting order after order after order after order. We have six ducks and six lamb coming up, please. And it just doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. You don't have time to think. It is get that out in four minutes. We want those plates. Get that broccoli as soon as you can, please. Wow. It's a beautiful looking dish. Now, first question always is the substandard. This is what we're looking for. So this looks just like what your this chef is would the, do. Just, just exactly right. what Dan would do. And what about the degree of cooking on the land? I think that looks pretty good from here. Yeah. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, I have to say, it's a really handsome looking dish. Yeah. Good, let's see how that tastes. Look at the lamb's delicious. That's perfect. Uh, lamb is definitely a nine for us. <laughs> yeah, it's really beautiful. Yeah. We gave the lamb a nine because ours was actually cooked perfectly. The fat was rendered down really well. I think they've nailed it. So it's extremely delicious. They've pulled it off. Well done. There you go. It's official. Five more plates coming to the past, please. We're plating out for the duck. We just got fired up and just went for it. And just heads okay. down. Green team. Hello. Yeah. 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 Can we just look at getting a bit of a crispy off? Yeah. Yeah. So we can just crisp it up a bit. But we got slammed because of the way the ducks cooked. And I th thought we coped really, we really well. You have to fix that. They weren't cooked on the skin side down enough. They were cooked on the skin side, then on the underside, and then they just been fried in the oven. So the fat doesn't have enough time to render out, and that's why people have been saying that the skin's not crispy enough. And that's why they're in trouble now, because they really need to get that skin crispy. And then we find out. Way overcooked. It was overcooked. You have to get it on the plate. That's it. Don't worry about it. I said to Trudy, just wing it. They can't be used. They can't be used. They're not at the standard, don't serve them. I was wild. Yeah, she got really angry. I had to actually walk away. I thought she was going to stab me with a knife. Yeah, great. I got a little surprise on the duck. Oh no! Oh my god! This is a snail right Mel and Kerry's duck came out with a little friend on top. <laughs> you, you don't expect this in a, in a place like that. So this must be escargot with <laughs> the mini one, New Zealand style. <laughs> Alive. You know the sashimi, sashimi, sashimi. <laughs> We're all thinking, how could this happen? Did they not look at it when it came out? Well, you have to judge accordingly. The very fact that that came out with that on it, it's a zero. That means that's a zero for that no, dish. Look at the plating, guys. It's amazing. No way. Got a What's the or a awesome. Ladies, we have a friend on our duck. We get a plate back. There's a little snail on one of the flowers. Let's get a new duck out. 911, please. Oh. And that was from the contestants. Oh, this my send God. Us home. This is not good. Let's get out another one. 911, please. We're getting another duck out for them straight away. I'm sure you'll hear about it later. There's nowhere to hide, is it? No. Have we checked that there's no slugs on this one? Excellent. Our sincere apologies from the duck station. Thank you. I'm going to go mental. These ducks come back. Right, let's give me some lamb up. Give me some lamb up. Let's go. Garnish, please. Onto the pass. All going well. Nothing to in the bin. And I'm enjoying it. You have to get it on the plate. That's it. You mm. just have to. Just stick it on. Give me there's no room for worrying or hissy fitting. Now, this is described as crispy duck. I love crispy duck. Oh, it's a pity they didn't choose a prettier flower for you, Ray. I know. Obviously, I'm their favourite. I think somebody's been wearing this one. <laughs> you know, it's looking a bit crushed. It does look a little yeah. bit crushed. Let's try it. I don't know 
know about this. It, it's not crispy. It's not crispy, yes. And, and for me, that is an overcooked yes, it is. duck breast, really. Overcooked. I like it pink and juicy, but but cooked. Yes. But much more pink. This is actually tastes a bit dry. Yeah. And I can see all this white fat here. This is not crispy. This is white, unrendered. Maybe they've run out of time or they've rushed it. A real shame. Next call, 17 cheesecakes. Two plates, three plates, cheesecake on the plate. Cheesecake, 17, I need 17 cheesecakes, please. Let go. Oh, so can you hear me? Seventeen, you need to tell you need to tell me, yeah? I'm up here, I can't hear you. If you can hear me, tell me, please. I'm not used to being told what to do. I'm not an employee. I I am absolutely hating it. Uh, two minutes on these desserts, please, guys. The guy's constantly putting us under pressure, telling us we have two minutes to make ten cheesecakes and Which at this isn't point, humanly possible. Yeah, at this point <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> I see, you know, they can wait. I, I, I wait at restaurants. Two minutes, stand up, please, on the cheesecake. Two minutes, anybody? Sam, Clap. No. I need you to communicate, please. Fourteen cheesecakes. The guy's wanting me to call him chef. He's probably ten years younger than me. <laughs> I'm ten years younger than you. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I can tell you what's done. Yeah, you can tell me. You know what. <laughs> Try getting your Cornells a little bit better, please, guys. Could someone run to do a bit of a f game show? Well, I don't feel that real life customer there. Strawberry patch, six. That's good. Loving it. Awesome. <laughs> so here we have the lemon and mascarpone cheesecake with deconstructed meringue. And just right there, you have the strawberry patch. Beautiful, Mel. Look at it. This panna cotta has like the most perfect consistency. Really? So delicious. Mounts in your mouth. Yeah. Amazing flavor. Faultless. There's just, oh, it's amazing. Absolutely yeah. amazing. 10 out of 10. Is this presentation up to standard? I think it's nearly there. Let's try it. Anton, what do you think of the flavor? It's there, but not strong enough. I don't think the balance is right. No, you've got all chocolate and not enough strawberries. There's a, there's a lot of yeah. a lot of dark chocolate, which is very dominant. Yeah. It's about the strawberries, isn't it? Well, it's it called be. the strawberry patch, so it should be about the strawberries. Yeah. It's going. Yeah, it's really good. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well done. I want you to wipe the plates before you bring them up next time, please. I'm actually enjoying it, to be honest. I'm liking the idea of presenting the dishes and trying to make each one as beautiful as possible. Cheesecake's ready, guys. Yeah. And the tables have turned. You know, these guys are going a lot faster now than these. It's good. This um, cheesecake, unfortunately. This doesn't taste right. With cheesecake, you like some sweetness. It's really sour, right? Eh? Okay, lemon and mascarpone cheesecake with the deconstructed lemon meringue pie. I can see meringue. I can't see any, I can see something that looks like caramel sauce. You usually put beautiful yellow lemon curd in it. It would normally be yellow. So immediately you're looking at this thinking that doesn't look right? No, so the colour's definitely not right. Yeah. What so about, that's what about the rest of it? The rest of it looks fantastic. Pretty good. Let's try it anyway. We'll see what see how we go. The cheesecake filling is sort of slightly eye-wateringly acidic. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite sharp. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Bad news. It's, Bad news. Your eyes and your mouth aren't, aren't sort of making sense of anything. It's piercingly, going. screamingly, acidically lemon. Yeah. Like, take the skin off the roof of your mouth lemon. While that looked good, I couldn't eat all of that. It's not right. It's, it's certainly not what, what they're presented with or asked to cook, so... That's the end of it, really. That's the end of it. We're walking into an elimination. I'm just blown away by this property. It's just 
unbelievable. The view at the Eagle's Nest is beautiful, but I'm not looking at the view. I am staring down Josh. We were particularly worried about um, Trudy and Shelley for their duck. Whatever will be, will be. We go home, we go home. It's done now. And it's just the way it is. Because we know that Shelley and Trudy cook the duck and Sam and Colette uh, cook the cheesecake and they're really close. At the end of the day, the reason we do challenges like this is so that we can see who works as a team and under intense pressure. Services like that, there is nowhere to hide. Sam and Colette, please step forward. It's a very unusual feeling because we haven't been in the bottom two or three before, so that's not a position we're used to. I'm actually waiting to hear our names being called to stand next to Sam and Colette. Sam and Colette, you know as much as I do that a commercial kitchen is not the place for you. Anton was really surprised, as was I, to see the lemon curd in the cheesecake looking more like butterscotch sauce. Now, I'm afraid that wasn't all that was wrong with that dish. Flavours were completely out of balance. If you're going to have lemon, you need it to be really strong and tart, but you've got to balance that with sweetness. It just wasn't happening. It was so acidic that it was unpleasant to eat. I couldn't have eaten the whole plate. We're not going to draw this out, guys. It's time now to leave the competition. Then all of a sudden, it's all over. We like to win no matter what we're doing. And it hasn't worked out this time. We're going home, but no, no, one, no one likes a sore loser. So we just look at everything with a positive light. Hey, Sam, walk out of here with your head held high. Oh, yeah. 